no pants. No, no, no pants. <laughs> we got it. We got the pants. Just have underwear. You know, I never really thought that the dongle life was for me, but I figured that if I was ever going to embrace the dongle life, it was going to be with a new laptop. I didn't think it was going to be with my Nintendo Switch. And yet, here we are. Last week I highlighted some cheap Nintendo Switch accessories that I picked up on Amazon. And one of those was the Mayflash Magic NS. It's this adapter that lets you use a variety of different controllers, Xbox, PlayStation, with the Nintendo Switch. I said in the video last week that it didn't seem to work in tabletop mode, but I was wrong because I forgot to switch the Mayflash over to switch mode. Duh. So let me show you how that works. So the first thing is my fun turbo stand. Remember how I picked this up last week? It's a handy little stand for holding the switch. Put that right there. And then here is the Nintendo Switch console itself. Like so, that's pretty straightforward. And what it was, was the Mayflash Magic NS. Looks like this, it's like a USB dongle. And then the Nintendo Switch has a USB-C port underneath. What you do is, it comes with this USB, whoa. Comes with this USB-C to USB-A female adapter. Plug that into the bottom of the switch. And then, Whoa, I plug the Mayflash Magic NS into the USB female. And what happens is when I turn on the switch, let me just get to the home screen here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a red LED blinking on the Mayflash Magic NS there. If I shade it a bit, can you see it now? There you go. There is a button on the side here, if you hold it, See now that is purple? That's Nintendo Switch Pro mode. Now it's blinking blue, which I think is like PlayStation mode. And then that's green, so I, I guess that must be Xbox, I guess. Anyway, to get it to work on Nintendo Switch, all you need to do is get it so that it gets to the red Nintendo Switch mode, like so. And I've got my Xbox 360 controller here. If I plug that into here, this is a wired controller so it's a lot easier but it works with wireless, uh, certain wireless controllers too but you can see that I'm already player one on my Xbox controller there and now it works. If I go down to the controller mode thing here and change the grip order, if I press L and R it shows up right away. There's not even a delay because it's all wired up. But that means it's the dongle life. Because you've got the USB-C, the USB-A, the Magic NS, and then a wired Xbox 360 controller. So I can show you it working. Uh, oh, I already have this going. So how about we play some World Heroes Perfect, some old school Neo Geo fighting game. Uh, so the way that it corresponds is uh, the plus and the minus on the Nintendo Switch normal Joy-Con controller, like so, corresponds with the back and the start on the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, the big home button is the corresponds with the home button. And if you want to take a screenshot, you press these two together, the back and start. Oops. There you go. Like so. So, let me just show you this working here. Uh, who should I be? How about Ken? I mean, Fuma. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. But if I pause the game, and I unplug the Xbox controller, 
I can switch, no pun intended, over to my ADARC uh, Fusion Synthesis. Now, speaking of gaming setups, one of you asked last week, hey Haiti, about my gaming PC setup after seeing the, the dual monitor thing behind me. Well, that's not really my gaming computer per se, that's my work computer, but I do game on it every now and then. Or at least I used to. And it's got a bunch of gaming accessories and gaming peripherals, so let me show you that. All right, so you obviously have to excuse some of the mess, but it starts, the tour starts down here. Excuse the rat's nest of cables. Uh, here is the gaming PC, I guess you could call. There we go. Here's the gaming PC, I guess you could call. It's in a Kuda Master case that my friend Stephen Fung MacGyvered for me way back in 2010, I believe. It's seen a couple of small upgrades along the way, added an SSC and uh, added some RAM, but it's otherwise quite old. <laughs> it does the job for me for now, but it's probably due for an upgrade and a dusting. Coming up here, there's the dual monitor setup that Haiti pointed out. These are not gaming monitors by any stretch. They're just a couple of cheap 23 inch Samsung LED monitors that I picked up from the now defunct NCIX. I think they were like $130 each or something like that. Uh, over here is my Tesoro or Tesoro uh, gaming chair. Pretty comfortable actually, and it's like this fake leather kind of material. Other peripherals, I have this ASIO uh, Levitron gaming mouse. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. This is my Kingston HyperX Cloud Revolver headset that I use most of the time. Uh, I do have a couple of creative stereo speakers, but I use the headset more often than not. Connectivity by way of the Linksys Velop Mesh system, backing up data to the WD MyCloud Home Duo. There's like 16 terabytes of storage in there. And working our way down here, let's spin the chair around. There's my Tesoro RGB gaming mechanical keyboard with the equivalent of Cherry MX Blue switches. They don't use Cherry MX, but uh, yeah, they're the equivalent of the Blue switches. So. They're really clacky. Uh, some people find that annoying. I find that kind of reassuring. So that's a really, oh, and over here, I have two arcade sticks right now, the Kamba Carbon and the ADARC Fusion Synthesis. They're both not very new anymore. And I use them for fighting games, obviously, when I do get to play with them on the computer. I guess a couple other things I want to point out, just on the uh, bookshelf that I have here. It's, this is the new Google Home Max smart speaker and that's the second generation Amazon Echo. Hey Google, what is the capital of Kazakhstan? Its capital is Astana. Echo, what's the capital of Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan's capital city is Astana. So I don't get to play games nearly as much as I used to and I definitely don't get in those marathon sessions like I used to. But having the Nintendo Switch has really freed me up to be able to play for 5, 10, 15 minutes at a time to kind of satiate that need to play some games. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. It's not really a home office tour, but a quick glimpse into my gaming PC, or I guess my work PC primarily, as well as how I finally got the Mayflash to work on the Nintendo Switch. So I think that wraps things up for now. Until next week, I'm still Michael Kwan. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. I'm so close to getting to 1,000 subscribers and back into the YouTube Partner Program, so please help me get there. Uh, so I guess that's it. I'll see you next week. Hey Google, who won the World Cup? 2018 World Cup was won by the France national football team. Hey Google, what was the final score? Here are the latest results from the World Cup. In the final, France beat Croatia 4-2 today. Echo, who won the World Cup?
The winner of the 2018 Gold Cup was Stradivarius, written by jockey Frankie de Torre. So that wasn't quite right. 